Good morning, everyone. I am um, recording or speaking from Renewed Mind Wellness uh, at 4170 South Decatur in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you need any kind of spiritual counseling or mental health services, you can call us at 702-331-4484. And I'm just going to get right into the word that I woke up to this morning about 3 o'clock. Um, Habakkuk 2 and 2, it says, Then the Lord said, Write down the vision and make it plain on tablets so that a hero can run with it. Write the vision. That's the thing. So write the vision is something that we have to ponder. Some of us will negate to ponder the vision um, that God has given us and ideas. And sometimes that is because... Um, of lack of confidence is because we don't believe in ourselves, and some of us don't even believe that God is speaking to us. We're in a confusing time where the where the world is changing, but one of the things that never changes is God. So one of the things that stuck out in this scripture was the fact that you write something. A lot of times we quote scriptures, we know them, you know, hand over foot. They just come up, but. The, the part that James tells us is to take action. And so writing is an action. And I do believe that when you take action to write something down, it can write um, challenges out of your life. It can write heartache out of your life, discomfort. And then you can write in the beautiful things that you want to see come to your life, you know. Some people are suffering with depression, anxiety right now, and they sit in the space of anguish. If you just take this moment in time as we're speaking um, and, and begin to write how you feel, your feelings are worthy to be put on paper, but then you'll notice that you have a burden lifted. It's heavy to carry around thoughts that are not productive or feelings that press you down that oppressive type of spirit so when i looked at write the vision what i uh, remembered is business you know a lot of times people will write about business but they won't write about the hurt and the pain they suffered in relationships and their families they won't write about the desires of their heart they'll just sit on it but the active part of let there be light is writing it down because you have an idea, you have a thought, you even have um, the emotions from painful situations. But until you deal with the darkness, the light can't come. You see, the darkness has to do with the emotions that are stuck inside of us. But then we have the light which says, I believe in God's word. And he said to take action um, and to write it on the paper, on the tablet. So you take action today. This is the encouragement. Take action today. Write your heartfelt feelings out on paper. Anything that's hurt you. And then go to the next part and write about what you desire. We have pros and cons. And whenever you're evaluating a situation, you look at the pros and cons. And so when you see that you have written down your disappointments, now you can think about the appointments that you want to make with life. The appointments of love, um, happiness, and joy, which will uh, turn into uh, manifestations if you need money, if you're looking and you desire a relationship that is whole. Um, and first, that starts with your wholeness. So you can't work with someone else unless you get that. So looking at all of that, write down your hurts and pains, but then go and write down what you desire out of life and see won't God work for you. Amen. Okay, and I am at Renewed Mind Wellness. We do spiritual counseling and we do mental health counseling. Um, the address is 47 South Decatur. I mean, 4170 South Decatur. The number here is 702-331-4484. And uh, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye.